सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द ज्योमेट्रिक क्लीन अप एंड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सम मोर डी फीचरिंग ऑप्शन टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस फर्स्ट लेट्स ओपन अप ए फाइल सो यू विल गो टू द फोल्डर इन द ज्योमेट्री रिपेयर फोल्डर गो टू दिस फाइल ऑफ डी फीचर सो पी कैन ड्रैक दिस फाइल टू योर एंसा क्लिक ऑन ओपन एज ए न्यू फाइल एंड क्लिक डिस्कार्ड नाउ वी कैन सी दिस इज अगेन वी हैव ए क्लिप फाइल एंड इफ यू जूम इन हेयर यू कैन सी दिस इज ए थ्री डी फाइल इट एज ए थिकनेस ओके सो ग्रिड पॉइंट्स आर हाईलाइटिंग हेयर टू हाइड दैम आई कैन क्लिक ऑन दिस पॉइंट ऑप्शन सो नाउ पॉइंट्स विल नॉट बी हाईलाइटेड एंड एंड फर्स्ट एज यूजल वी आर गोइंग टू डू ए टू डी मैश ऑफ दिस बट फॉर दिस वी नीड टू एक्सटेक्ट द मिड सरफेस सो गो टू मिड एंड स्किन गो टू विजिबल हेयर टेक ऑल डिफॉल्ट सेटिंग्स एंड आई वॉन्ट टू डिलीट द ओरिजिनल सो मेक ए चेक ऑन डिलीट ओरिजिनल हिट द रोलर क्लिक येस एंड अगेन अगेन एंड ऑफसेट ओके आफ्टर दैट हेयर यू कैन सी वी ओनली हैव द मिडिल सरफेस एंड इफ यू गो टू पी आई डी यू कैन सी इट एज ए पी आई डी दैट इज मॉडल एट स्किन ओके नाउ बेसिकली हेयर वट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इज वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट सम मोर डी फीचरिंग ऑप्शन और टूल्स फर्स्ट लेट्स जूम इन ऑन टू दिस होल्स सो बेसिकली यू कैन सी वी हैव ए वन होल हेयर एंड अनदर होल हेयर बट देयर इज ए डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज होल्स दिस होल इज बेसिकली ए होल फॉर द बोल्ट कनेक्शन ओके यू कैन सी द डायमीटर इज वेरी लार्ज और इफ यू हैव ए कम्प्लीट असेंबली यू कैन चेक दिस ऑन द असेंबली ऑल्सो वाइल दीज होल्स दीज फोर होल्स आर नॉट फॉर द बोल्ट कनेक्शन दीज आर जस्ट पिन होल्स and these are holes with of very small diameter to check the diameter you can go to this dynamic measurement and check the diameter here pick any curve go to this curvature you will see its radius 0.29 okay very small now when you create a mesh around them the mesh will not be a proper mesh because of these holes so let's create a basic rough mesh first uh, go to this mesh here go to length and select the complete perimeter here hit the roller and let's say i will create a mesh of length 2 here click okay now here go to mesh generation go to best and select visible and if you zoom in on to these holes you can see mesh is not proper here because of these holes and these small holes are of very low importance because need, these are not bolt holes so we can remove these holes to simplify the geometry okay so click on this and go to erase click on visible mesh will be erased so we can remove these holes to remove the holes we have some options one option here is go to this topo go to cones and here go to this complete circle option select this complete circle click okay and okay and you can see circle has been removed and uh, after that there is also one more direct option here is that is fill hole option click on this and we just have to directly select the hole so select this complete hole click okay you can see hole is removed again here you can select multiple hole and okay you can see hole is removed so that is the advantage of this command it doesn't uh, leave any existing cutting lines or cut now if you want to remove this cut go to cut make a right click you can see it is not deleting but the color has turned into orange color it means this line has surpassed it has not deleted so make a right click once again go to this complete circle okay it is not selecting so we have to select section by section right click again and again like this okay so this has surpassed so press escape 
So this is the first way of defeaturing that we have to remove the extra holes that are not needed. Now let's zoom in onto these fillets here. You can see it has very small fillets. Similarly here these fillets are very small and uh, these uh, because of the small fillets our mesh will be a very smaller mesh and uh, these small fillets are of very low importance. So we can remove the small fillets that are not needed to simplify our geometry. For this we have a command here that is called Dash. Go to this Dash you will see divide face and Dash command. Go to Dash here. Okay. Now here we can specify some option like we can specify a range of radius let's say from 0 to 20 or you can define corner angle or you can define width so width is used as this gap so let's say I will click here cancel go to this measure let's check the radius of this curve click on this curve so it's radius I want to check you can see I will take the mouse here you can see its radius is 0.95 here you can see the radius is 0.95 again similarly let's check here take the mouse here so click close here and again these fillets are even much smaller than those so we can remove these fillets to remove the fillet go to once again go to Dutch and Dutch now there are two ways we can define a range let's say 0 to 2 in our case or any range after calculating the value and we can also directly select the face if we, we don't want to define any range first let's say I will define a range click on select now software has selected the fillets within this range we have highlighted you can see all these fillets if you want to remove any fillet here you can make a right click here let's say I will right click here okay and hit the roller now it is asking delete fillet or keep I want to delete the fillet or you can see existing fillet okay so click ok now close now let's see what happens you can see this fillet has been removed and a corner point has been created. Similarly here you can see fillet has been removed a corner point has been created and similarly in this section also so this basically this orange line represent the suppressed line it will not take part in the meshing okay so now once again zoom out and again let's go to this option again go to Dash and Dash let's say this time I don't want to define any range I will directly select a face and hit the roller now it is showing one preview and uh, it will ask whether I want to keep the fillet or delete I want to delete the fillet because that extra surface is of no use for us click OK and now you can see fillet has been removed now one more thing is many times it may happen that this command does not work properly for us in that case what we are going to use is the middle line option for that it is a kind of manual work for that we need to go to this curve option go to middle option select the first line hit the roller select the second line again hit the roller you can see at exact midpoint another line will be created so I will split this face with respect to this line for this I will have to use project option so select this line and hit the roller then select this face hit the roller so this line or this fillet has been splitted at exact center now I don't want these two lines if you use the cut option you can see click here right click here this will turn into orange because these are K 
cad lines we can now directly delete them this will be suppressed okay now if you try to do the mesh here see how change is the mesh so go to mesh and once again go to mesh generation go to best go to visible okay we have to select proper length of the mesh so go to length select this complete perimeter at the roller insert value 2 here click ok so once again we need to do the mesh so go to best visible and now you can see the mesh is proper from here and again from here similarly here after removing the fillet mesh has it improved similarly here we have done the manual work but still mesh is better so in this way you can use the d feature options to improve the mesh quality